What I'm about to share with you guys are four of the craziest things that I've ever learned about girls. And once you know these things and apply them to your own life, girls will never look at you the same again, starting with number one. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that we as men are raised to believe that girls must be earned. And if we as men do not do the things necessary to earn them, then we simply don't deserve them. Now, the female version of this belief or the thing that girls are raised to believe is that they must be good girls and that they must be hard to get. And girls are literally programmed from a very young age to play hard to get. This is why me and my friends used to chase them around the playground when we were in school rather than them chasing us. Now, what if girls weren't actually all that hard to get at all? See, one of the greatest illusions that we are programmed to believe is that girls are extremely hard to get. And when you interact with them, you'll notice that most of them actually do play hard to get almost immediately after you meet them. So let me ask you this. If I were to tell you that all girls were actually easy and you actually believed me, would that change how you interact with them? It's kind of like if you were about to fight a boss in a video game. If all of your friends told you that this boss was going to be extremely hard to beat and you believed them, then you would be going into the fight already at a disadvantage because boxers actually use the same mental trick to make other fighters think that they are stronger and harder to beat than they really are. And the reason why they use it is simply because it works. You see, if you truly believed that all girls were hard to get or hard to impress or hard to seduce or hard to whatever, you would most likely behave in a way that would make that belief come true. And so what you have to understand is that all girls really are easy, but because of how our society is structured, they are programmed to play like they're hard to get. But once you realize that with pretty much every single girl out there, it is all just an act. It's like going into a boss fight, expecting an easy win. So many guys out there, especially today, fail because they fall for the same mental trap that boxers use on their opponents, which leads us to number two. Now, what I'm about to share with you guys is a little secret that sets the 1% of men apart from the competition. And it goes a little something like this. Most guys out there think that the best way to to quote unquote get girls is to play the little game that we are all expected to play. Imagine you're something like a fighter jet flying through the skies chasing after your target, but your target keeps unloading smoke screens and flares and all sorts of things to distract you and to confuse you. This is basically the game that girls want you to play, and most guys completely miss the point. You see, girls will string guys around with ambiguous text messages and they will play all sorts of games. And as men, we tend to look at these games that girls play as just another obstacle that we must conquer to achieve our goal. But what happens is that we end up completely missing the point. And the whole point of the game that girls play is not the little smoke screens and what they might mean. It's simply the act of getting you to play the game. You see, men who are in demand or men who are high value, they're the ones who make the rules and they're the ones who get females to play by those rules. You see, girls will always try to control the frame or they will try to set the rules of the game. They'll say things like, let's meet here or why do you like that? I don't like that. That's stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Now, the second craziest thing that I ever learned about girls is that the best way to get the girl is to never actually play the game in the first place. You see, most guys are so desperate that they get caught in the smoke screen or they get caught up in playing the games that girls want them to play and so nothing ever really works out for them. But when you get girls to play your game, the dynamic completely changes. Instead of you chasing her, she ends up chasing you because she's playing your game by your rules. Number three, what I'm about to share with you guys is the third craziest thing that I ever learned about girls and I promise it will change everything for you. So in previous videos, I mentioned that females by their very nature pay far more attention to the details than men do. And the reason why this is really important is because it allows them to get a good read on men very quickly and very easily. So what this means is that if you are nervous around a girl, trust me when I say that she already knows it. Now in my last video, I said that males are programmed from a young age to believe that females must be earned and as a result of this, many guys view girls in a way that is almost like how a fan would view a celebrity. And if you act like a fan around girls, you're going to do and say stupid things and it's going to be really obvious that you are intimidated by them. You see, girls instinctively know that a guy who is intimidated by them is not a high value man and they know that he is most likely not a man who has plenty of options. See, being intimidated by girls is the single greatest sign that a man can give off that screams to them that he is not confident, that he's not high value, and that he is most likely not wanted or not desired by other females. You see, the top 1% of men are never intimidated by women no matter how attractive they are. And females can never respect a man who is intimidated or who is scared by them simply because 
they know that if you are intimidated by them, it is most likely because you view them as having a greater value than yourself. And we all know that females are only excited by males who they view as having a higher value than their own. Number four. Now next up is the fourth craziest thing that I have ever learned about girls. And I would say that it's probably the most important thing out of this entire video. So we all know that females on average date up or they look for men who have a higher socioeconomic value than they do. And something that I learned is what the top 1% of men do without even realizing it, which is using a female's built-in biological programming to their advantage. Think about it like this. If girls are always naturally looking at the man that they have now and comparing him to a man that they don't have or to a man that they perceive as having higher value, if you are always the best that she can realistically get, then you are always going to win this game. This is why it's a win-win situation for high value men. This is why the top 1% of men never have to worry about their girl leaving them because at the end of the day, that guy knows that he is the best that she will ever be able to get. See, this is the beauty of our natural masculine nature to always be improving and always be striving to get better and better, to become wealthier, to become more confident, to become more charming. Notice how it's always when a man stops being a man, so to speak, or when he stops chasing excellence, that is always when the girl decides to leave him. Now, as men, one of the most important things that we expect from females is loyalty. So many guys are worried about male competition. But here's the thing. When you know that you are the best that she can realistically get, and when you're always improving and you're always getting better and better every single day, you never actually have to worry about the competition. Or you never actually have to worry about all the other guys out there because you are basically using a female's natural programming against itself. So you become the guy that she would be looking to trade in her guy for. Next up is number five, and it's the number one thing that all women want from a man, and it's the experience of feeling like a woman. There's nothing more seductive to a woman than a man who is able to make her actually feel like a woman. So how does a man accomplish this? The answer is simple, and it's to act like a man. To create polarity in every possible way. Every time she goes left, you go right. Few things are as unattractive to us men as a woman who behaves like a man, and it's really no different for females. So when she is timid and scared, you are confident and feeling fearless. When she is immature and childish, you are mature and productive. When she doesn't know where to go or how to proceed, you always seem to know the way. Girls and life in general might seem hard at times, especially in today's modern world, but it's really easy if you know how it all really works or if you truly understand the game. Most guys just really don't understand the game. Now these are four of the craziest things that I have ever learned about girls and once you apply this knowledge to your own life and the way that you live it, you will be shocked at how fast things can change for the better. And with that said, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching.